888-989-6170 or armassoc.com. Hutch that Rolfson on the Riddle Rock. Hutch that Rolfson on the Riddle Rock. Hutch that Rolfson. Back. We're back here, and now we've got Jeremy Borer, who's the owner of Still. It's a new spot that's just opened up last, what was last still? week or so, yeah, right? Still? Yeah, a week ago. Black Friday we opened. Wow. Oh, How's the terrific? still that? still there? It's pretty good. We yeah? Had a, lot, a good turnout. Lots of family and friends came down and uh, gave us a lot of support. What a day to open. Were you giving yeah. crazy Black Friday discounts? We did not. That would be hard to do on opening right, day. Right, opening day, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're open sale. So for right. people who don't know what still is, it's not a still like Baron was hoping it was, like the old business <laughs> in, in uh, wherever that was. Well, Alabama, it's all caps, right? S-T-I-L-L, spelled just like it's still. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like but it has to do with drinking, doesn't it? Absolutely, yeah. enlighten us? What? So still is a, is a project that we, we came up with that basically, to sum it up in a few words, is everything for your bar but the booze. We've come up with uh, you know, all the cocktail tools that you need, the cocktail accessories. We have uh, uh, Santa Barbara's largest selection of cocktail bitters that you're able I to taste. I saw that. It was amazing. We I am a, just all about bitters right I now. I love yeah. bitters. <laughs> yeah. We have a, a, a bitter tasting bar set because up. There's more bitters than Angostura, right? Oh, so many. I mean, people yeah. kind of stop at Angostura and think that's bitters, but that's yeah. just the starting and point. And you can actually make really interesting virgin cocktails with bitters. It For makes sure. you feel like you're having like... A, a real gimlet. cocktail. Yeah, yeah. Just absolutely. Of this delicious bitterness. Ooh, I have to go. Yeah, in. right. Yeah, a lot of times <laughs> when I'm when I'm feeling like having a drink but not wanting a drink, I'll yeah. take club soda and then just put I a couple of drops of bitters thing. in it. Me too. Yeah, oh, it's so good. Guys. Maybe a Luxardo I cherry it or a Fabri Amarena like cherry a or something yes. like that. Oh, yeah. I have to go and completely Are, supply my life. Is this a throwback to the Roy Rogers days? Was it Roy Rogers? Or Roy Rogers. Uh, was it, there was a, no, a drink called Roy Rogers. Yes, or there, there was. A, there, and there's yeah. another drink, uh, which is a kid's drink, uh, that's made with bitters. Um, is there? I don't know. The Shirley a Temple is the most famous Maybe the Shirley kid Temple. drink, but, but I don't think it has bitters, bitters in it. No. no, maybe the Roy Rogers has bitters in it. Yeah. yeah. Because bitters also has a little bit of alcohol, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, for sure. But but not enough but, to... And you're ta we're talking drops. Yeah. So... Yeah. yeah, you know, alcohol by volume, they're about 30 to 40%, depending on the bitter. But so you don't want to drink a whole bottle of bitters. Well, the, the, you know, the government uh, deems it non-potable because it's too bitter to drink that yeah, much. Yeah, that sounds yeah. So, And you use it in a tiny little mm -hmm. bit. What so. are some of the different flavors that are out there? Oh, man, there's so many really wonderful ones. Because um, I mean, Angostura is kind of just herbal. Angostura is an herbal, I would and think. it's the mm -hmm. staple, yeah. yeah. Um, black walnut is one of my favorites oh, right now. We've got oh, Fee yeah. Brothers Black Walnut, which is amazing, yeah. which would go beautifully in a Manhattan that or an old sweet, fashioned. Though. Is it does it have a bitter Oh, so bitter. Under, oh, so yeah. bitter. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So all of the bitters have a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of sugar, but then they also have that chinchona bark, that that really bitter So that's quality. what it is. Okay. Yeah. Chinchona bark is the main component Where that provides that come the bitter. From bark? I'm not sure. Hmm. Yeah, somewhere down in South ever, America. I've heard of a ch ch chihuahua bark. <laughs> chihuahua, <laughs> chihuahua bark. Or chinchilla. Chinchilla. Do they bark? Chinchillas? They, I think they, they, do, they don't. They do weird. I had a chinchilla that used to stand up and pee on me. Shoot, pee, literally. <laughs> Hello. I, it did not. It didn't like me. I guess. Screw on the rules again. Or maybe loved you. You never know. Okay, so while. Sorry, we'll whenever right Laurel comes on the show, things get a little bit out Let's of control. By the way, speaking of walnuts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, sweet and spicy. Look at these sweet and spicy walnuts. You know, this, this is something that, um, is that from, Amy from, left from Isabella's. Yeah, uh, yeah. Isabella's, and uh, and we just think they look so exciting that oh we're going to try one. Please. Are we? Yes. Why do you do this because, to me? Because walnuts sound like a good thing. These are organic walnuts, powdered sugar. Now, let me just warn cayenne you. Cayenne pepper. I oh. am slightly allergic to walnuts. It only oh, makes on. my tongue swell. Oh, come on. So no, it's no, okay. No, 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 but it's so good. No, 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 no. I don't oh. want you to have a it's swollen tongue. It's just a little tongue. swollen. No, sorry. <laughs> so he's eating it. Well, the last thing we want to do is lose you during the show. <laughs> mm -hmm. You weigh right? the pros and cons, and if it's that tasty, You can, get, you can then, have this instead. Okay, yeah, you can have the chocolate. Wow. But you don't know how good this is. Arthur, I knew you were going to do this to me. This is why I'm paying. <laughs> okay, well, what about might this be one? Can a little I bit of a chocolate peanut butter tongue. treasures? Yeah, you could eat that, See, right? It might be worth the swollen tongue. Mm -hmm. See, sometimes mm -hmm. yeah. it's worth the swollen tongue. Those are spicy. Those have a nice little yeah, kick to them, huh? Yeah, there's cayenne pepper in there. These, look yeah. these are Tesora, and they are handmade chocolate peanut butter treasures, and they're also sold there. And these look like li truffles. Mm -hmm. oh, so my you gosh. should dig in. Dig in. White chocolate And while you dig in and eat those, I want to ask Jeremy... Making uh, a good cocktail mm -hmm. starts oh, with a good cocktail shaker, good right? Question. And you yeah, have for sure. cool shakers. Definitely, we have and lots. And I don't mean to be, be rude when I say you have really nice shakers, but you do. <laughs> That's a great <laughs> holiday <laughs> gift for someone. Don't you think it would be great? Yes, I think, I yeah. think a full starter kit would be like the best 
cocktail starter kit that you can get someone. So a really interesting shaker, a couple different types of bitters. Okay, what else? Some tools. Yeah, yes. we've got lots of tools, but you know, back to the shakers. We've got a lot of shakers. I love cocktail shakers. Yeah. I wish I could have a shelf at home with every single one that why we have you? on there. I don't know why. My girlfriend won't let me have them. Did you for did some you reason. collect shakers? Um, when you were a kid? In my you, no. Yeah, Hold on, stop it. Your girlfriend will not let you have shakers. You own still. Well, I have so many things at home already. Girlfriends. Um, yeah. I'm a dating coach. Okay. And I'm not trying to. She's so great. I am. It's only Don't give me, me in trouble I'm, here. I'm injecting my own person at my own opinion. <laughs> just, just a couple shakers, yes. I think, okay. would be nice. I have a store full of shakers. So, so maybe bring your favorite basically. three home. Okay. I think maybe that that's fair. Maybe can something out. I I mean, mean, I, and she can get a, her favorite three new pair of shoes. Oh, I love that idea. See? Yeah. Oh, really? Compromise, yeah. right? Yeah. Isn't that a wonderful way to do I relationships? I think it's perfect. So the shakers you usually see yeah. in most bar supply or grocery stores, whatever, that's a pretty standard thing, yeah. right? Not, not yeah. particularly dazzling, but they work. Yeah, but, they... but yours go beyond that, right? You have some real design elements going on. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, yeah. And, and, and functionality, too. Right? Some of them work better than others. Definitely. You know, just like anything else, shakers, they're a level of quality and a level of functionality that you get. We have shakers that start at, you know, six ninety nine. That are your basic, you know, restaurant commercial level mm -hmm. shaker. Right. They do the job. Certainly will mix up your drink. You can shake up whatever you want in there. And then we also have, on the opposite end of the spectrum, some Italian shakers from Alessi. Oh, those and these are made out of 1810 stainless steel. They're double walled. They're designed by a, an Italian designer named Ettorio Sestato, a, a famous Italian designer. Mm -hmm. And so now these um, are, what are what I call the Ferrari of cocktail shakers. So these they're heavy and they're rich. So these aren't just shakers. These are things that you actually would put out on display. Oh, for sure. Yeah, so it would be yeah. part of the presentation, which yeah. I actually think is a really nice thing about making cocktails, especially craft cocktails, is that it's, it is the whole presentation of the making process, too. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you've got your shaker, and you've got your jiggers, you've got your, your muddler, which we have some really wonderful handmade, uh, locally made muddlers from a man here in Santa mm. Barbara who hand lathes these muddlers, and they're made out of exotic woods. I'm sorry, so, what's a muddler? A muddler is, a, is basically a stick that you use when you smash the things, your fruit or whatever in the glass. So if you get a mojito. Oh, I use a hammer. Go well, ahead. hammer works. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. for sure. The hammer's tough to get down in that little glass, though. Maybe you got to use the back end of it. My Some quick people... question, if you don't mind. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of people out there, since you're an accessory shop for bars, that rent themselves out as bartenders. Are you a, mm -hmm. Do you uh, let these guys use your shop? or? Well, we you know, that's here. something that we're going to explore. We've only been open for a week now, and, and there are lots of things that we, we want to do and we plan to do. We just need to work out the details. Sure. They you know, register with you, and you mm. could be the central. Yeah. Thing, we only. have all the tools, um, you know, that anybody needs for any bar, whether it's just, you know, somebody <laughs> at home that wants to mix up an old-fashioned or somebody that's really a professional mixologist. We've got it all. Now, what if someone wants to have a really fancy evening or date and they want to do cocktails as part of it? Because I think that's actually something that's nice to do. Instead of just saying, I'm going to cook you dinner, mm -hmm. I'm going to make you, I'm going to create a beautiful evening for you. But they don't know how to make cocktails. Yeah. And they come in and you will teach them. For sure. How, or at least give them like two recipes. You tell them what to buy. You tell them how to make it and you set them up. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, I'm technically not a bartender myself, but I have been in the wine and spirits industry for the last 15 years. And so, you know, that's that's one of my passions. And, you know, if somebody wants to come in and ask questions about uh, about <laughs> drinks and cocktails. <laughs> um, Somebody's really enjoying this food over here. Yeah. Uh, then, then we'll help them out. You know, one of our taglines that we came up with the other day is we want to push people out of their cocktail comfort zone. Mm. Oh. So there are a lot of people who drink the same drink all the time, and that's fine. We love that. Right, I love right. a good old-fashioned. Mm. I love a good Manhattan. <coughs> but every now and then, you gotta have, you have to come in. You have to check out the new bitters that we have, the new things called shrubs, which are amazing, mm. which are drinking vinegars yeah. with sugar and so fruit. So good. Drinking this is a huge vinegars? trend also. I mean, yeah. at least in, in L.A. at the bars there, there's oftentimes a featured shrub. Mm -hmm. And it's just this amazing collection of herbs and fruits and, yeah. and things so that, tasty. Are, that are Before seasonal. we forget, okay, yes. so um, Jeremy, mm -hmm. uh, people want to go to the website. you have a website that they can go to? We don't have a website yet. We How have a face, the Facebook store? page. Oh, Facebook page. Yep, okay. so it's uh, Elevate Your Ethanol. Uh, <laughs> I saw that. What does that mean? Yeah, so still, you know, we came up with still, and we thought that that was great. But then there was a sort of thing like you had where what's, what does still mean? Is it, does it mean like being calm or, or whatever? 
Um, so we came up with Elevate Your Ethanol, right. which means it's, taking it's not your an acronym. S T I L L doesn't stand for something. No. And your I location is. So we're at 37 East Ortega uh, on the corner of Ortega and Anacapa. Really Jeremy, thank you for coming in. What holiday a treat. Gifts. We're yeah, going to take a break. Thank you so much. Uh, by the way, the tamale class is actually December the 13th. Someone's going to win tickets to that tamale class as well. Yes, December the 13th, that's so much better because better, that's huh? on Saturday. Yeah, much there you better go. Much more Friday. sense. Yeah. 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 All right. Stay tuned. Right. We'll be right back. Ooh. Your guess is someone's going to name that restaurant. Table talk. <laughs> I read the news press.